A zombie apocalypse is not only a popular genre of fiction, but also a problem that's being seriously studied around the world. For example, a poll in Great Britain found that 11% of respondents already have a plan in case of a zombie invasion. As it turns out, even the Pentagon has a plan called CONOP 8888. So in today's selection, we'll show you projects that will come in handy in case of a zombie attack. Remember the angular Cybertruck from Tesla? While many were confused and wondered who would buy it, designers from Modern House came up with a concept called Cyber House, which matches it perfectly. This house is designed to withstand a zombie apocalypse. We're offered to imagine a virus outbreak and the mass zombification of the population. That's why Cyber House is a fortress. Solid reinforced concrete, steel, armored windows, and other features won't let zombies get inside. But a powerful protection doesn't mean lack of comfort. There's even an open terrace with lounges. The house is designed for six to seven people. There are different levels as well as a Cybertruck lift. People in many countries, from Japan to the United States, have shown interest in the Cyber House. This luxury bunker has made quite a splash said the chief architect of Modern House in an interview. This is an upgraded Can-Am ATV, which will come in handy if you need to get out of a zombie attack quickly. And if you stop, you can keep calm, because the armor level of the vehicle is B4. This is enough to protect you not only from the infected, but also from ordinary aggressors, as it blocks pistol bullets of 5.45 to 9mm calibers. The main part of the manufacturer's income comes from military vehicles, so this ATV is designed for the Army's needs. In particular, among its advantages are mobility, the possibility of airdrop, and an excellent all-terrain performance. It wouldn't hurt to arm yourself with a Barnet TS390 crossbow, for example. This model comes fully assembled and includes a 4x32 illuminated sight, making it easier to shoot the living dead even in poor lighting conditions. The crossbow weighs 6.9 pounds, and the arrow reaches a flight speed of 380 feet per second. A Trigger Tech soft release mechanism is provided, as well as a soft lock floating bristle arrow retainer. To improve safety, a system of protection against blank shots has been added, and the design is engineered to save the fingers of even an inexperienced shooter. However, there are only two arrows in the set, so you'll probably have to buy more. The price tag on the crossbow is $700. This bike is a tactical blank canvas, according to the authors of the project Motoped Survival Bike Black Ops Edition. The key advantage of the vehicle in a zombie attack is its range. With a full tank and two cans of fuel, you can cover up to 300 miles. There are two variants to choose from, with two or eight horsepower engines. Both have a patented pedal drive system and two gallon fuel canisters each. The top speed is a bit modest, about 24 miles per hour, but the vehicle is easy to handle and agile, which is important in urban areas, and it weighs only 132 pounds. The price remains unknown, but there's a 112-page booklet with lots of photos. This outfit was created for the protection of riot squads, but it could also be of use when fighting zombies. The manufacturer offers special vests, arm and leg pads, as well as clothing. They're available in several models. For example, the Slash Pro series is resistant to cuts, and the Bite Pro to bites. Inside this vest is a 0.14-inch thick carbon fiber fortiply composite insert. It provides protection from both homemade and professional weapons, from pipes and bits to shivs and knives. The vest weighs 3.9 pounds and is lined for breathability and comfortable long-lasting wear. You can buy one for about $484. Even though this video is about zombies, we have to show you this multi-tool. 
The creators of the Lil Trucker are confident that the product is suitable not only for vacationers and contractors, but also for good old zombie hunters. The multi-tool is made of 1055 steel, which is often used in various tools for rough work like axes. The Lil Trucker can also be used as an axe, but there are other functions as well. A saw, a wire cutter, a nail puller, a wrench, a hex wrench, a can opener, and a belt cutter. The model weighs 1.3 pounds and is 11.5 inches long. The Lil Survival Companion, a separate tool with a cord, a flint, a blade sharpener, and a whistle, serves as a nice addition. The manufacturer provides a lifetime warranty and asks $75 for the two-piece set. Tornado research equipment will also come in handy when dealing with zombies. What you see here is the BTS TIV-2, an intrepid tornado explorer and a three-axle engineering masterpiece. Weighing 14,000 pounds, it's equipped with bulletproof windows and special hydraulically operated skirts. It's powered by an advanced 409 cubic inch turbo diesel engine and has a top speed of about 100 miles an hour. The fuel tank capacity is 95 gallons. And especially observant viewers may have already remembered the Tornado Alley television project. Another vehicle for the military is the Combat Guard. It was designed for reconnaissance, and at the time of its debut at the Euro Satery 2014 Military Industry Show, had the best off-road performance in its class. It's designed for six to eight people and is equipped with a 300 horsepower diesel engine. Maximum off road speed is 75 miles per hour and ground clearance is 28 inches. It's capable of overcoming obstacles up to 31 and a half inches high, even in reverse, as well as forcing water obstacles up to five feet deep. Additionally, the manufacturer emphasizes the high level of protection. The vehicle features the Iron Fist system, designed to protect against anti-tank missiles, rocket-propelled grenades, and armor-piercing sub-caliber shells. This weapon with a saw is another solution for killing zombies, which is effective indoors and in cramped conditions like corridors. Craftsmen all over the world are making their own versions, and many solutions have won people's hearts at various gun shows. For example, back in 2012, the guests of SHOT Show, the largest trade show for the shooting sports, were surprised by the Double Star Zombie X AK-47 submachine gun. Curiously enough, there was even information about a small-scale production. The price was supposed to be $1,500 or a little bit more, and the craftsman in the second video offers custom assembly of bayonets from $300. Would you buy something like this? Hyundai has joined forces with Galpin Autosports, shout out to all Pimp My Ride fans, to turn the Santa Fe into a zombie survival machine. The project was launched as a tribute to the Walking Dead TV series, and the design was chosen as part of Hyundai's competition for the best anti-zombie machine. Masters have made an excellent job. The car has a large caliber machine gun, four automatic rifles, a repeating crossbow, and numerous blades. The body is reinforced and armored. The windows are protected by barbed wire and metal inserts. On the roof, there's a hatch for a machine gunner, and all machine guns are equipped with a homing system. And in case the zombies get too close, a samurai sword is included. As far as we know, no one has ever tried to put a working M134 on a motorcycle chassis reads one review on the M134X high-speed interceptor. The vehicle had looked perfect in a video game about zombies, which makes it even more unusual to see in real life. For the experiment, the engineers chose a Yamaha YZF R1 motorcycle and an M134 7.62mm machine gun. 
After all of the modifications, the monster weighs about 500 pounds. For better dynamics, it was equipped with a twin nitrous oxide system, so if you want, you can accelerate up to 199 miles per hour. Also, they had to sacrifice the original fuel tank to mount the machine gun. Now there are two custom 1.5 gallon tanks instead. However, even this upgrade is not enough for some. A viewer asked for a version with rocket launchers. If you have too much stuff to haul away, you should think about reinforcing your home. At first sight, this project from Polish specialists looks like a hangar or a bunker. However, once you remove the protective systems, you see a comfortable home with a garden and a swimming pool. The most interesting features are Sliding walls, 72.2 and 49.2 feet long and 7.2 feet high. Shutters 9.2 feet high and up to 11.5 feet wide that open 180 degrees, and a section of wall shaped like a drawbridge, leading to a mini terrace above the pool. Another interesting feature is the 20 and 46 foot gates, which were made by a company that specializes in shipyard and airline solutions. With this project, you'll feel like your home is your castle. Let's finish our selection with this flamethrower that you can buy for $3,450. The XL18 comes assembled and is capable of shooting flames up to 110 feet, enough to fight off the living dead. According to the manufacturer, the XL18 is the most powerful personal flamethrower in the world. It weighs about 45 pounds and is compatible with a variety of fuel mixes, which include gasoline, diesel, and napalm. The tank capacity is 3.3 gallons.